I could distinctly remember the way I was filled with joy seeing the world's wonders, seeing the white billows of an amorphous blob floating in the sky, there's a dog and a cat and that looks like a guy who could have been my uncle. I reached my hands outwards, my short legs extending as long as it could, I really believed I could one day fly. High up in the sky, my little feet, even with just a few small tiptoes, the sky didn't seem to be out of reach. Wasn't it just the ceiling where those white creatures were having a party? I thought, why couldn't I? Until one day you told me, I have to change, grow up, read up, don't be so estranged. Those are clouds made up of water vapor condensed into a huge big ball of rain. You wanted me to change, to be this prodigy who can name all parts of the brain. Your voice echoing inside my head telling me to think twice. Think twice before I point outwards and say, those are my friends over there, in the sky. Clouds. They were just clouds. That's what you told me and you followed me around teaching me about objects and sounds. I heard the birds discussing their delicious meal this morning and my eyes wandered expectantly up the trees. This little worm I caught in my hand, maybe it could suffice for an invitation to join them and be free but you told me it was just meaningless chirping. I told you the trees and flowers were waving at me. I whispered a good morning so very quietly afraid that you'll hear and again tell me it's just the wind blowing. The way I drew dragons with love-shaped eyes and skin soft like cotton. You told me it was wrong. Dragons were supposed to have malevolent eyes and scaly skin. Change it. Change it all. Because that's not how a dragon should look like. Tears swelled up in my eyes. I feared to ever again try the voices echoing inside my mind telling me to change it. Change it all into the scheme that has been printed out before me and before me. The voices of change tell me to stop being so different. Why was I not like my friends who could write 10 factual essays in one weekend unlike me, who wrote poetry, lamenting about my contempt. My mind, clear with only one ounce of imagination left, saw the photograph of a book and a pen, and I thought about their journey, the memories and the purpose they had. But no, you told me. You told me they were just a book to read and a pen to write, never a book that becomes a friend in times of need, or the pen to hold on, to calm the sea of anxiety within me. Those are clouds, those are chirps, that is just a pen and a book. I realize what I am slowly becoming and I try to go against the voices of change. I don't want to follow all the strict guidelines and square-minded thinking, but the voices of change tell me no, follow the guideline, and don't stray from the path. There's only one path. Bind your hands and your legs and your ever-evolving mind, trust me. You can even close your eyes and be blind, trust me. Take my hand and follow the line, trust me. Will I be strong enough? to decline.